I'm Jack Stevenson. Um, I've been tattooing for around 10 years now and I do more black and grey than anything but um, I like to put a bit of colour in there now and then um, and I'm just down here at the minute doing a guest spot with Jason. To be fair, like, I met Jason um, probably around 10 years ago when I first started uh, and I went to my very first show <coughs> in Wales and um, I saw a piece that he was doing that really, really grabbed my attention. It was a, it was a lady that had like typical like half school face, but she had a, a veil across her face. And uh, I remember being real struck by it. And uh, I think I tried to take my tattoo in, in that direction for a while. Um, and then I got tattooed by him and just became a friend through that way. And uh, here I am. It's really inspiring to come down and see new people and hang with some other artists and stuff. It's cool. But I suppose I was always, uh, my dad was covered in tattoos um, and as soon as I was allowed to go into some shops with him I was always following him around, uh, watching him get tattooed and we become um, quite good friends with a guy in Coventry and uh, he just asked my dad one day whilst getting tattooed do you want your son to have a go? And um, being quite brave he just said yeah cool and I got in the chair and I did my first little um, cherry blossom on his arm and I knew from that point that that was what I wanted to do. I couldn't believe I could make a career out of actually doing something I enjoy. So that was that really, it was cool. So I work at Hellcats Tattoo Parlour, um, it's in Hinkley which is Leicestershire. I've been there for around three years and um, easily coolest shop I've worked in. It's um, It's got a real sort of punk rock vibe, it's like obviously here it's quite minimalistic and modern and I love that style but we are probably completely the opposite in the way it is but um, it kind of has um, a bit of a quirkiness to it I think neither of the studios feel like you're in a tattoo shop necessarily like this one I think you forget about that it's actually a tattoo shop and you just come in and experience it and leave with some cool piece of artwork and it's kind of like that in our shop because there's so much to look at and um, so much random conversations going on all the time. I started to lean a bit more towards um, like trash polka style abstract work, um, but that's because I, I do um, guest spots with my friend in Germany at the time and it seems to be quite a popular style over there. So I think naturally I'm influenced that way and I want to do more work like that, but it's just finding the people that want that style of work um, in certain areas. So. But hopefully I can find some more to do. So. So it's probably a portrait of Kurt Russell from The Thing um, because I, one I got to do all the detail of the snow all in his beard and everything which was real fun and I just love that film and being um, a big film fan I'd much prefer to try and segue my tattoos into that if I can um, so yeah it's probably my favourite tattoo. I think if I could have my, my time again with fresh skin I think I'd probably just go for things from nostalgia maybe and then just films that I've got into like over the past few years because I've got into way more film in the past two or three years since working at Hellcats actually with the other guys than I ever did before and uh, yeah I'd like to tattoo more stuff like that as well. <sighs> That's so difficult right it's so broad spectrum um, well I was saying to Jason earlier that probably my favourite series of film is the Alien saga so I'd probably have to go for Alien the first one because it is sort of the pioneer of that so um, yeah I think that's probably the one. TV show now uh, I'm probably going to go for the typical and say like Game of Thrones um, I was a huge Walking Dead fan and I, and I still am but I think um, for a couple of series they probably lacked a little bit of depth um, and it just sort of strung along a little bit but um, yeah I'd probably say Game of Thrones because the whole 10 episode series that just keeps me completely hooked I, I don't know what I was had said before I mean probably a thriller just because of how much it makes you really think about the psychological part of a film okay so I actually came to you before and asked you the question because there's so many absolutely inspirational ones you know I don't know the, the, the list could go on but then you mentioned Tarantino and it just made me think that I don't think there's anything that I dislike that he's done I also mentioned to you about how, how I like a lot of the things that he didn't necessarily direct but was involved in 
such as True Romance and um, and all the stuff that he does with uh, Robert Rodriguez and I never know sometimes I find it hard to decipher who actually did what in the film because they seem to be so similar in their way of thinking um, so but I think yeah it'd have to be Tarantino as well I used to to be fair I used to years ago go for Samuel L. Jackson uh, because again my, I used to think my favourite film was probably 187 um, which I thought it was absolutely great in but then he sort of of later years did films that I feel like he just did anything uh, why I don't know it certainly obviously wasn't for money but um, so I probably changed then and um, probably also we discussed Christoph Waltz earlier who's yes yeah, he's just incredible in most things that I've seen but um, yeah he's he's pretty amazing yeah I'd say so and, and Gary Oldman as well I can't not, I can't forget Gary Oldman like I was mentioning to my customer earlier how he's just absolutely stunning in nearly everything I've seen yeah. Not that I know, that not I can claim to know anything about it, but it would definitely be some sort of something to do with film. But um, probably because I have more of the artistic background, probably in um, effects makeup or, or something like that. Not like I say, not that I claim to know anything about it, but if I could have another job, it'd definitely be something like that.